Although this is the Scottish Heavy. And we're here to talk about it. So, that's the label that comes off the can. It's got brewing instructions on the inside. It's glued on with some sort of water soluble glue. I'd say something like, uh, I don't know, flour and water glue. That sort of thing. Well, either way, it floats off the tin quite easily. So, oh, it's got. It's also got brewing instructions on the outside as well. The brewing instructions on the inside are more um, detailed. It's a one and a half kilo kit pre-hot kit and you add a kilo of sugar as usual so it's a kit and kilo on the smaller kits but that doesn't necessarily mean any worse because it brews beer to the same ABV let's put the end of can can't really read the ingredients but it's in, uh, in bold barley and malt extract I think barley in, in, in bold malted barley in bold water hop extract yeast in sachet the allergens in bold so it's, it's, it's gluten Not a right lot on, on the rest of the label. Some figures. Uh, starting gravity was 1046 at 20 degrees C. Finishing gravity was 1014 at 21 degrees C. Came out at 4.3% ABV. The kit cost £11.35, so with sugar that's 12 quid. That comes out to 30p a pint. Bargain. If it tastes alright. So. <coughs> look at the colour. Golden colour I'd say. Clear. I'd say polished clear is that, and it's a yeah light amber golden colour. Doesn't really hold a head, holds a, a cap. Does provide some lacing on the glass. Give us a smell. Like beer, slightly malty. A little bit fruity, actually, on the nose. Get the laughing tackle around it. Sweetness up front, and it's um. There's a fruitiness to it. I think it's. It could be apple, slightly apple, or raisin. A bit like, yeah, it's like a, I don't know if you can get an apple sherry. It's a cross between apple and, and sherry notes. But only slight. You got the sweet crystally flavour. So it's probably got crystal malt in it. And then it's got a a gentle bit bitterness that just builds up slowly. And then slowly.
slowly fades off. Thin to medium mouthfeel. No real proper blank watery spots. You've just got a nice beery taste. Uh, it's a long time since, a long, long time since I've been in Scotland. It's not that long actually, but been in Scotland drinking uh, heavy in a pub. Last time we went to Scotland, I didn't go to the pub, I don't think. But, I would say that's lighter than a Scottish Heavy. Scottish Heavy tends to be heavier on the mouthfeel. It's still not overly strong, but heavier on the mouthfeel and more maltiness in it. Not a bad beer. Is it a Scottish Heavy? I would suggest that's clutching at straws, calling it a Scottish Heavy. Similar, but a Scottish Heavy, from my memory of a long time back, is a heavier drink, that's why they call it a Heavy, because it's heavy on the grain bill. 30p a pint, it's alright. What about again? Probably not, there's better out there. Better out there, but costs more. Don't get me wrong. Probably about double. What did I say? Twelve quid. Cost twelve quid. So yeah, if you pay double that, you get an old malt kit, and they're just that little bit better. Right, that's enough waffling. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.